people should think of patents as an investment. If your whole business is based on selling a specific product and it's going to be really easy for someone else to say, hey, that product is neat, this other business is selling it for $5, they did all the work to develop it, I can steal their idea and make it myself for $2 and sell it for $3, then you might need a patent to protect from the other company coming in and stealing your idea to your detriment. You can patent things like materials, you can patent new chemicals, you can also patent processes or methods. The requirements for a patent are that it's new and non-obvious. And this may be a good example of the difference between new and obvious. There's nothing that says you can't patent a food recipe. The problem is that most of the ingredients that you use in a recipe have been known forever. And so the patent office might say, you know, look, putting uh, a different type of cinnamon on top of your sugar cookies was obvious to try some different types of cinnamon. Uh, so that's a spot where maybe you can prove that no one has ever used that type of cinnamon on sugar cookies before. But it's not that much of a stretch, it's not that much of a leap to try some different types of cinnamon on your sugar cookies. The first step in your process is going to be an investigation, analysis, or research step. So your patent attorney or agent is going to learn about your invention. Likely then we're going to go look around. Somebody else may have done it already. Maybe they weren't successful at it. Uh, maybe they published a paper about it in the 50s and couldn't figure out how to get funding for their idea, so it went away. Even though you don't know about it, even though it wasn't ever commercially produced, maybe that product or process is still old and you're not going to get a patent. So after that, then you're going to go ahead and begin drafting a patent application. That process ends with filing the patent application at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. They're going to say, in most cases, we don't think you deserve a patent. Your patent agent or your patent attorney are then going to go back and forth with the patent office several times, arguing, refining, pointing out things that we think are mistakes. They might point out tweaks we could make to our language that would allow the patent to issue. This process varies widely in time and in money. Um, anywhere from one to three years is normal. After that, hopefully, you've spent all this time, all this money, the examiner says, okay, we're gonna issue this as a patent. So even after you've done all the work, every four years, if you want to keep your patent alive, you're going to have to pay a maintenance fee. Depending on your company size, whether you're an individual, you may get a break on those fees. Check the United States Patent and Trademark Office for their inventor resources. Before you start shelling out money or even trying to find your patent attorney or patent agent, get as much information as you can.